Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ken Chrysler, and my name is Nusen Barafia, and welcome to another epic episode, ladies and gentlemen. I know I keep on saying it's get, um, that every episode is epic, but it's just getting better, okay? It, it's amazing what we have going here. A number one contendership for the tag team titles we're starting off with. And the Bald Man's Bureau will take on Five Nights at Freddy's. And both teams have been very, very good on this channel. They have. Um, Bald Man's Bureau destroyed Macau on one episode. And the other team destroyed Power Play. And this is going to be a great match. Tornado tag, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. Oh my goodness! Bonnie already... Knocking Bane out of the ring. Chica throwing Agent 47 out of the ring. And we have a fight. This is incredible. And let me also remind you later today. Um, we are having a number one contendership for hell in a cell. Ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be amazing what you see today. And wow. Look at this already. And this number one contendership is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Also, though, we have Blue Neck versus Curious George as our main event in a Hell in a Cell match. Again, I don't know who's paying the bills here or um, funding this, but uh, okay. But anyway... Um, Michael Myers has made a deal with the Blue Neck. He says if you can beat Curious George and injure him and beat next week the number one contender, whoever that would be, for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, you can have another title shot. He's got to beat both of them. And he's got to beat the tar out of them, not just beat them up and win. And uh-oh, look here. Bonnie um, putting uh, Bane in a choke. I've never seen Bane being this much dominated in my life. Look here. A choke slam? Yeah. Okay, it was slow, but it, it worked. And um, look at Agent 47 attacking Chica. Look here. And a kick out. Kind of early. And, and both... This has just been an insane match. So far... Five Nights at Freddy's has completely dominated this fight tonight. Um, they have done a, a phenomenal job. Look at Bang with the leg drop. Nice leg drop there. Um, and now Bang with a DDT. Uh, and now it looks like the Bald Man's Bureau may be in control. But not even a, a one count. Yeah, Ken, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, I, I, they are very, very good at um, these types of matches. But so is the Bald Man's Bureau. We've seen both teams be great in tag team matches. Winning against um, impossible odds in some cases. Um, and, uh, well, what's going on now? Look here, Bang attacking Bonnie and Ch uh, Chica getting attacked again. A ladder and a sledgehammer out. No one's using them. Be like the right thing to do. <laughs> but, um. Uh oh. Bonnie on the attack on Agent 47, and now we're switching up people. Yes, kid, and. and I have to tell you, I'm very impressed, and I, I do not know what that was, though. <laughs> No, I don't either. And look at Agent 47. Wow. With a nice slam there. And look at 47. Just amazing at what he does. Indeed, he, he is a very great competitor. I mean, he took Brunek to the limit uh, a couple weeks ago. He did. He did a phenomenal job of uh, taking Brunek to the limit. And here comes Bane. Oh. But nice reversal by Chica. Oh my goodness, Chica! With a, another clothesline out of the ring. No, it was Bonnie before. And look here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Bonnie misses. But look here. Bonnie! Whoa! What a nice move there! And wow! 
the power of Five Nights at Freddy's. And now Chica has a table. This is dangerous. For, oh, man. He, oh, what, what in the world? Bonnie took out the wrath. I don't know what's the point with that. He doesn't count fast. But if you hit him, he won't even count faster. I mean, it's not like it's going to make a difference. The guy literally can't think for himself. <laughs> yeah, look at Bonnie attacking with the table. Yeah, that table is deadly. It's long and deadly. <laughs> and uh, so far, Five Nights at Freddy's seems to be having this in the back. Um, whoever wins will face Prince Macau and Mentally Sinister. And whoever this team is that wins tonight, I feel sorry for Macau. Because, I mean, this is going to be one of the biggest challenges yet. Besides my Deathstroke and Bane tag. Which was almost, they almost won. But Macau got disqualified because he chickened out. I have that against him for the rest of his life. Until the day he's in that casket. I have that against him. And uh, look at Bonnie. Nice move, nice slam by Nightmare Bonnie here. And look at uh, now Bonnie's attacking Agent 47. And, um, and look at Chica. Oh, man. What a nice move there. And Chica is going for a pin. It might be over. And a kick out at... Come on, ref. I, to I told you, Bonnie. The guy can't count fast enough. That was like two and nine tenths or something. I, I literally, his his fit index finger finger touched the mat. His whole hand didn't, but his index did. And look here, an F five by Bonnie, and this could be over, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's over. And here we go. One, two, and another. Uh oh. One. He's counting faster. It's good to know he started counting faster, the feel. <laughs> yeah, he did. I mean, uh, he went woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah, he did. And, what, and Five Nights at Freddy's will face off with Prince Macau and Mentally Sinister for the tag team titles. And I cannot wait to see that one. Yes, I feel bad for Macau. I mean, this is the worst team you can face, I think. Yeah, I don't know that Macau has pulled off some crazy stuff before, but we're going to have to find out next week if he can pull off this one. <laughs> I don't know how he's going to do this one. I don't... Uh, and Ken, I, I have to admit, uh, they did a very, very good job. They did, and now it is time... For our second match, which will probably be the best match of the night, because it's a six-man Hell in a Cell. I didn't tell you that. And and Macau has decided to put in great talent. He doesn't care if you earned it. He's putting in great talent. And what great talent we start off here with, I believe, an eight-time world champion, Pineapple Blast. Yeah, he's a great champion, Ken. Um... He's done a lot of great things for this channel. He has, um, he, he used to be great back in the day. A lot of people haven't seen it because it was before the YouTube days. Yeah, and here comes Predator. By the way, let me remind you all, we don't take credit for other people's work. Pineapple Blast was made by a close friend of Prince Macau's, a real friend, to be exact. What do you mean, real? Uh, nothing. But anyway, um... He was, uh, he was made by uh, one of Prince Macau's friends, and Macau came up with the name, though. And that's just some history there for you. He, he's, and here comes Crimson Ninja, the hardcore champion. Now, we're going to have a couple champions in here, Crimson Ninja being one. And our other champion, which I know a lot of you all are excited to see, is Spawn, the Intercontinental Champion. Yes, and... He hasn't done a lot lately, Ken, and, I, and this gives him a shot to do what he does best. Indeed, and who will be number five, ladies and gentlemen? Who is it? We're having three Macau created, three community, and here comes Mr. Black, a hardcore icon. And hopefully he can show off his talent to the, uh, to the channel as well. He hasn't done a lot. 
But um, he's a great competitor. And ladies and gentlemen, who is number six? This is the biggest mystery. And oh my goodness! Juggernaut from the X-Men! Look how big he is! He's insanely big! <laughs> he is, kid. And oh man, this is going to be bad, bad news. Crimson Ninja and Pineapple Blast, they're pretty big, but I think Juggernaut surpasses them. Oh my goodness. How are you going to get rid of that guy? What, what are all these people looking at? <laughs> and, and here we go, kid. Hell in a cell. Here we start off with. It's going all crazy. I better get um, start on the Adderall to um, try to focus on this match. This is insane. Yes, and uh, Pineapple Blast uh, going after Predator. Mr. Black after Spawn and Juggernaut after the Crimson Ninja. But it'll change in the in the next two minutes or something. Look at Pineapple Blast. He is walking on rope. He is literally walking on rope. And I, I it's pretty amazing there. And look, uh oh, Pineapple Blast is just chilling out now. Terribly misses. Look at Spawn here. What is this? Oh man, Miss uh, and Mrs. Mr. Black. Oh, nice drop kick by Mr. Black. And look at Pineapple Blast. Walking on rope. Walking on rope. <laughs> and Mr. Black has a ball bat now. I knew he couldn't help himself. I knew he couldn't. And here comes Spawn on the attack on Predator. Man. And just attacking everyone with a ball bat. Doing a pretty good job tonight. Look at Juggernaut already going for a pin. Are you kidding me? And look here. Spawn. Misses terribly. <laughs> yeah, but at least he flew. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And oh my goodness, and, and Mr. Black attacking the Juggernaut. And look here, we have a choke slam already on the Crimson Ninja. There's going to be bodies flying everywhere in this match, just like Money in the Bank. And uh oh, Pineapple's going after Juggernaut. And this is going to be taken outside of the ring. And this could get crazy, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Yes, indeed. And, and look here. A tombstone power drive. Already. Oh, my goodness. On the juggernaut. That's how you get rid of him. Man. That had to hurt. <laughs> look at him laying there. <laughs> and look, a Crimson Ninja trying to pin Predator. Um, Mr. Bu um, look here. Oh, nice. Nice move by Pineapple there. Juggernaut's starting to get back up. This match is going back into the rain. And look at Pineapple. Going right after the Juggernaut. Yes, it's 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 a good strategy to fight the people that will give you the hardest time, kid. And uh, Spawn tried to pin Mr. Black. And Pineapple Blast throwing some haymakers. Um, and look here. And Juggernaut is out of the ring again. He can't stay in the ring. And look at Crimson Ninja trying to pin Mr. Black. Oh, a nice move by Predator. Yes, it's very hard to keep track of these matches. Yeah, you miss something. You look somewhere else and you miss something else. Uh, I, I, even though it's going to be an epic match. Uh, I know it's going to be epic. Um, it doesn't matter. I love... I love having a concentration. Oh my goodness, Mr. Black with the kick. And look here. No one's even paying attention. And I think Predator stopped the pin. Um, and, and, that's, and this isn't about the one who has the most skill. The one with the most skill does have the most advantage. But it's about paying attention. Which I can't even pay attention on this one. And look here. Juggernaut is going for the pin on Pineapple. This could be over. No, Crimson uh, breaks the pin. Mr. Black, though. Everyone's just staring. Juggernaut just looking at him like, uh, like that. I don't know what he was thinking. He could have won. The match would have been quick. I don't want a quick match. I want a good long match. Not a too long match, but a good match. Yeah, I do too, Ken. And look at Mr. Black. Him and Spawn are the only ones in the ring. This is the perfect time to pin. The perfect time to pin. But um, Mr. Black probably wants a signature or a finisher in there. 
And Mr. Black, what is he? Uh oh! You thought your mom's spaghetti elbows was good? No, they're not as good as Mr. Black's elbows. Look here! My goodness! It's an elbow marathon, and here, and and here comes the elbow finale. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I love those elbows. <laughs> yeah, they're great. And look here, he's going for the pin. Crimson again saves the day from Mr. Black, who's doing a phenomenal job tonight. And um, Juggernaut and Pineapple are still going to war here. Yes, they've been at it all um, match long. And look at the Predator. Look, ooh, good strength. Yeah, Predator's been hitting the weight room or something. Look at Pineapple Blast. He's going to fly. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. No, he's not going to do it. Chickened out. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Ken. I'm not saying it to his face. <laughs> and look at Spawn. Already starting off good here. And, um, and, and Spawn now. What is he doing here? Look at Crimson Ninja's about to fly. And uh, I think he hit Pineapple Blast. Now everyone is again half the people are out of the ring. Well, Predator's the only well pineapples in there. See, it's a great time to pin when they're the most distracted. That's when I guarantee you the win will come that way. And look at Mr. Black. He's going, I believe, for a Oh my goodness! And Pineapple just clotheslined him. And look at Juggernaut trying to steal it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pineapple with a, a beautiful clothesline there. And look at Crimson Ninja now stopping Pineapple's move. You, you gotta let these guys do their finisher and then you take advantage of it. You take advantage of the finishers. And look at uh, Spawn throwing Predator around here. And Mr. Black is going for his finisher. Uh-oh. And I believe everyone's distracted here. And look at Mr. Black going for the pin. It might be over. And Crimson saves the day again. Mr. Black should have won three times if it wasn't for Crimson. And that's the beauty of this match. It only takes one guy to ruin your day. Yeah, <laughs> it does. L look at Pineapple. Oh, man. Attacking Mr. Black. And, lo and look at Spawn. Oh, man, that had to hurt Crimson's kids. And, uh-oh, uh Pineapple's going for the pin. Spawn's going to stop it, though. He saw it. It's all about attention span in this. And look here. S attack on Spawn. Crimson Ninja attacking Mr. Black. And, uh, oh, now Pineapple and Juggernaut are at it again. And Pineapple, um, struggling to get Juggernaut out of the ring. Predator's the only one out. And look here, Crimson Ninja. The power. And it could be over. Yeah, someone needs to see it. And and the Predator gets it. Yeah, it only, only takes one guy. And look at Crimson Ninja just dominating Mr. Black. But look here, Spawn. What in the world is this? Oh, no. We're not doing this, are we? Oh, no, we're not. Look at Predator. Look there. Wow. A mid-air clothesline. And Pineapple Blast beating the tar out of Crimson. Trying to stop. And Predator. Crimson saves the day again. Yeah, he keeps on saving the match. <laughs> he does. And um, here comes Crimson Ninja. Attempting to... Um, uh, oh, no. I think we're going to get one of these. Mid-air. Two bodies flying. Oh, my goodness. Watch out, everyone. Here we go. Here we go, Timber! <laughs> oh, man. That was crazy. Yeah, this has been a... And look at Mr. Black. It's the Elbow Marathon. You thought it was a... And look, everyone's trying to go for a pin, but they can't because... I don't know why Crimson stopped going for one. He, he had the right to the pin first. Look, Elbow Finale there. Wow. And Mr. Black is going for the pin on Pineapple. It could be over. But no, Crimson again, four times on Mr. Black, breaking up his pin. Four times. Once, I believe, on Predator. And look at Juggernaut. What in the world is this? And look here, Pineapple interferes. My goodness. You got to let these people 
It's a, it might be a good strategy, Ken. Yeah, because he could be occupied, I guess, with someone else. And you got the other guy pinning him. So you're trying, But at the same time, you want to get people weak as you can get. Mr. Black is now going for a finisher here. Look here. On spawn. Wow. Yes, and Mr. Black is... Oh, but Pineapple's ready. Yeah, he saw it coming. And look at Predator. Oh, my goodness, on Crimson. And who will win this match? This match has been going on forever. It was supposed to be crazy, but I didn't think it was going to be... Uh-oh. And Mr. Black is putting Pineapple up on the top. This is going to... And Predator, a nice move there. But look here. Look here. Oh, my God. Goodness, right on Crimson Ninja! My goodness! <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh oh, another elbow! Uh oh, this is a case of elbow nitis. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> but look at Predator, he's going for the pin! No one's paying attention! But Juggernaut kicks out! Wow! <laughs> yeah, and here comes the elbow finale. Yeah, they better be prepared for this one. It could be over for Pineapple. And look here. And ladies and gentlemen, Predator um, stops the pin. Oh my goodness. I'm out of breath, Newsom. <laughs> I know you are, Ken. And look here, Pineapple Blast. It could be over. No one's paying attention. And Pineapple wins. He pins Mr. Black. Oh my goodness. Pineapple will face... Michael Myers, what a matchup there. Yes, I can't wait for that one. This match was insane in the membrane. That's what it was. It was crazy. It was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It was phenomenal. <laughs> okay, Ken, you're running out of words. <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> but, oh my goodness, what a great match. A great performance by Pineapple. He deserves a title shot. He deserved one before he even got in the sale. Um, he's just great. A lot of people love him. A lot of the subs. Pretty much everyone. Yes, and next up is our main event, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. It is Blue Knack versus Curious George. And let me remind you all. These two are phenomenal. But Blue Knack is on a rage. He's mad that he lost um, the championship. This is probably um, one of the longest periods he's had without having the WWE World Heavyweight Championship as well. I He hasn't had it since probably, I, I believe, Episode 4 or 5, something like that. We're on Episode 16. So he's craving the world title, and he still doesn't have it. But Michael Myers has made a deal. He said... You enter the Money in the Bank champion, and uh, you t and now he's got to uh, take out Pineapple Blast, which I'm sure he's not happy about that because he's even admitted that that guy's pretty good. Yeah, he's more than pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and here comes Curious George, prepared for battle here. And who you think is going to win, Newson? I have no clue, Ken. Um, I, I, I honestly think the Blue Neck will pull it off. Um... I think Curious George has it. Blue Knack is in a rage. Just because you're in a rage doesn't mean you're going to do good. You have so much emotions going all around you. It's it's likely you're not going to win. Because you're thinking about, especially if you're an ex-world heavyweight champion, you're thinking about the title. And, and that's all you're thinking about right now. And look at, oh, I'm not sure about that, kid. Look here. <laughs> It's already starting. It is. The Blue Neck has gone berserk. A lot of people have mixed feelings about the Blue Neck. A lot of people don't like him. A lot of people say he's phenomenal on the channel. There's no denying his talent. Okay? There's no denying that. He is pretty much one of the leaders of this channel, I believe. Not in morals, but a leader in technique. Um, the son of Mobster X, who was one of the greatest wrestlers ever. Um, also had two brothers that was in his, um, that used to tag with him. Back when he was known as Bloody X. Um, before he became the Blue Knack after a tragedy that happened to him. 
causing them to hate all rednecks. Now, uh, oh, Curious George with a kick in the face there. Um, and uh, look here, oh, Blue Mac. L look at this. Um, the Blue Mac is now going after Curious George. And Curious George is um, doing a pretty good job against him. Look here. What is this? Wow! <laughs> and Blue Neck's down. I told you. Emotion gets involved. And right when I said it. <laughs> yeah, right when you said it, Ken. <laughs> and now the Blue Neck is, uh, once again. Look here. Oh, man. Already a signature. Wow. Incredible. And, and I think this match is going outside of the cage. And let me tell you all. These people aren't built for this. Hell in a Cell is going to put your body through it all. It's one of the most deadliest matches. Table match doesn't feel good. And ladder doesn't. Uh, saw power plays out for still a few more weeks. Because of... Um, um, because of... The injury he sustained. And Curious George has got to be careful because Blue Neck is going for an injury. My um, Prince McCow should have never let this match uh, allowed to happen. Because Michael Myers is making terms here. Who's a leader of the Bald Man's Bureau as of now. Which they haven't, uh, I mean they haven't been getting along with him lately. Because he has not committed to the Bureau. He hasn't. I mean he's, he's definitely out for himself. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is about to get deadly. We are on top of the cage. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. And what in the world? The lights went out. And what? What? It's Mad Melissa. Um, what is she doing out here? I don't know, Ken. I can't see nothing but their cell phones and the lantern. Yeah, I can't see nothing either. What in the world? I can't see what, what's going on in the match or nothing. It's pitch black. I can see the cell phones in the crowd. Everyone shut. Get the cameraman. Look at everyone's cell phones. I can see them in the crowd at least. I don't know what in the world is going on here. Uh, what is Mad Melissa doing out here? She can't really do nothing. I'm not being a sexist, but she's a diva. She can't fight the superstars. What in the world is going on here? I don't know, Ken. It's starting to freak me out. And look here! Oh my goodness! Oh man! Blue Neck attacked! And look! Oh man! A leg drop! I think that's Mr. Swagalicious. Oh man.